high. So now we're still going to work on trunk stabilization, but focusing on the shoulder stain. Okay. And so what we want to do there is really get um, the serratus anterior and the lower traps activated. And what you can use is use some things that you have at home. I don't happen to have a TheraBand, but if you have a TheraBand at home, that'd be great to use. So I'm using my headband um, because it's what I have. And so that's what happens when we have home exercise, right? So what you want to do is put this band between your hands, okay? So it's a little stretchy, right? Right there, okay? So what I'm going to to um, double it up a little bit to make it a little bit harder. But you know, the more you double it, the the, the stronger it is. So I, I know ladies, you have you have some hair bands at home. Guys, you meant to borrow from your sister, your wife, whoever. Um, but these are also um, uh, good to use if you don't have bands at home, all right? So what you first wanna do is you want to start with your, with the band right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push out. Okay? You're going to hold it there and push out. And like I said, this is strengthening, so you're working on an isometric hold. And as you're doing that, you don't want these elbows flopping all over the place. That means it's not nicely stabilized. So you're going to push those elbows in towards the body. You're going to push the hands out, okay? And you're going to hold it. And while you're doing this, guess what? Still pinching those shoulder blades together. Those rhomboids are really going to work, right? So you're pushing your hand out, shoulder blades in, you're going to hold it, okay? You're going to relax. And try it again. I'll give you this view of it here too. Okay, ready, set. Here we go. Up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. All right. And then with these, you can also progress where you're doing it with your hands up. Okay. And so a nice one is one where you're sitting here. Okay. In the same position before. And then you're just going to bring your hand up, up, up. And this is a really nice one for your serratus and your lower traps, okay? And the entire time you're doing this, okay, this hand is pushing out against your band, okay? Up, up, up as high as you can go. If you can get your elbows up to your shoulder level, that's great. Remember, keeping those elbows in, pushing your hands out towards the band, and then right back down, nice and slow. The focus here is control, right? Okay, all the way back down to about 90 degrees, elbows back together, squeeze, now bring it back up, 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 as high as you can, push those hands out, make sure those hands are out, good, you're going to slowly bring your hand back down, keeping the tension in the bands between your hands, okay, good. And as you get better with that, you can also bring it up over your head which even helps the lower traps even more. The lower traps are, are at the bottom of your, of your scapula, which also helps with the winging, okay? If, you, if they get strengthened a little bit more. So then again, if you're gonna do it a little bit higher, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it up, 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 all the way up over your head, and then back down, keeping those elbows in. Don't let those elbows go out. Make sure they're in like this, good. Tension between your hands, very nice. Okay, I'll give you the side view of it. Here we go, and it's up, up. Nice tension between the hands. Elbows are flexed all the way up. Now you're gonna straighten those elbows all the way up over your head. Still trunk sitting nice and tall. You're gonna bring it back down, keeping those elbows tucked in and not out like a chicken. Tension between your hands, very nice. And then all the way back down. Okay, if you have a hard time doing this, a great way to do this also is against a wall. Okay, so I can lean against the wall and, the, and glide my hands up and then glide my hands back down, kind of using gravity in my body to assist that motion until I get a little bit stronger. Okay, um, I don't have a wall to demonstrate that, but you can imagine if there's a wall right in front of me, that's what you do. All the way up and then all the way down. Okay. I appreciate you joining me in these exercises today. Hope that they're helpful. And if you have any questions, um, you know how to get a hold of me. Thanks.